Now it's time for Motor Week's top automotive technician, Pat Goss. As always, Pat has plenty of sensible car care advice to make your driving easier. Pat? John, here's something that we used to only associate with the rich and famous, the car phone, or as it's properly called, the cellular telephone. See, these have become available to just about everyone. And to help me explain the ins and outs of car phones these days, well, I have Norman Black with me. He is a representative of the cellular telephone industry. Now, Norman, we have quite an array of things here, but before we get into that, if a person is thinking about buying a cellular phone, they have to do some basic things first. Now, where would they start? Well, Pat, the first bit of comparison shopping should be with the two competing carriers in your market. You, the consumer needs to compare things like the area of coverage, uh, the types of monthly price plans that are available, options like call forwarding, call waiting, things like that. Okay, so we have options and we have range and we have price plans. Uh, can you tell me a little more about that? Certainly. The, the price plans today range from uh, basic where you're going to pay a very low monthly fee uh, that does not include any allowance of calls, all the way up to something that uh, would pay, uh, would include an allowance of calls, but you'd pay a higher monthly fee for it. Okay, so there's something there for everybody. That's right. You have to decide how you're going to use the phone. Okay, now once we've decided on the carrier, then we have to start considering what type of equipment to buy and where to buy it. How do we go about that? Well, once you've picked a carrier, you should ask that carrier uh, what agents represent him, what retailers, and then go out and compare phones. We have three basic types of cellular phones today. Okay. Tell me, uh, starting over here, what do, we, uh, what do we have? Well, starting here, this is uh, what's known as a mobile unit. This type of phone is actually hardwired and installed in the car. Uh, next, we have two transportable units. Uh, they're phones that you can easily move from car to car. And then at the end here, we have the, uh, the top of the line today, the portable phone, a phone that's so small that you can carry it anywhere. Okay, now, there must be advantages and disadvantages to each one of these types. Give me a little rundown on that. Well, with the mobile, with this phone, it's actually wired into your car, so it's able to draw off the car battery. Uh, and is, it transmits with the maximum 3 watts of power. With the transportables, um, they also are transmitting with the 3 watts of power, and there you gain the ability to move to another car. Uh, they generally just plug into the cigarette lighter. With the portables, there the, the biggest advantage is mobility. You've got a phone that uh, you can put in your pocket or purse and carry anywhere. Um, they transmit with 6 tenths of 1 watt of power, uh, which is fine just about everywhere unless you're close to a fringe area. Okay, so these uh, full portables may not be for everyone have to analyze uh, where you're going to be calling from. Exactly. Okay, one other thing about the transportables. Aren't some of these uh, battery powered so that they can be totally taken away from the car like the portables? Exactly. Um, if, if you want to carry the transportable away from the car, you can get a battery to, to go with it. Okay, and there's probably a benefit for just about anybody who drives an automobile or needs to be in communication to owning one of these phones today. No question, Pat. Uh, the industry grew 43% last year and added 2.3 million subscribers. So that says there are an awful lot of people out there that are learning the benefits of, of instant communication. Obviously. Thank you. And if you have a question about portable phones or about your car, how about writing to me? If I use your letter on the air, I'll send you a Motor Week t-shirt. The address is Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117. That's Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117.